And finally, Mr. Bernie's social uh, studies Maria? and mentoring group yeah. will meet at their usual Trey? time. Yep. Today's topic Greta? will be Here. marijuana use after the passing of Initiative 502. Whoa. Whoa. And no, before wow. anyone asks me in the hall, there will be no about samples Ruby? given out today. And Lisa. So there will be snacks in the All right. So today's lesson, we're going to talk about marijuana use and how it may affect teens like you. <laughs> Sweet. So when I say marijuana, what's the first word that comes to your mind? Party. Let's go. Mm. For real though, dude, it's one of the coolest things I've ever done. Or like done. actually. No, it was scary. The time I tried it, I was so high I thought I was having a panic attack. Whoa. What? Okay, it really like, so honestly, it like, class, awesome. class, can I have your attention please? Oh. Take your seats. Okay, let's start with a brief history of marijuana. Can you get the lights? Hemp or victory. From earliest times. Cannabis, or hemp, was grown to be used for rope, cloth, paper, and even fuel. This is hemp seed. Be careful how you use it. For to grow hemp legally, you must have a federal registration and tax stamp. This is provided for Whoa. in your home. Whoa, Whoa, man. The weed marijuana is grown in every state in the U.S. Confusion about cannabis also called marijuana, stems from when it is either ingested or smoked for medicinal or recreational use. Mate. Mate! What do you want? Bring me some reefers. In the 1930s, it was a number one cash crop, but also outlawed for causing deviant behavior in youth. In the 1940s, it was an illegal substance, but also a subsidized crop during World War II. Red for shoes for millions of American soldiers. If you want a good smoke, try one of these. In the 1960s, the counterculture adopted it. Only one verdict which you can find. In the 1980s, President Reagan heavily criminalized it. Guilty. Way faster. And in 2012, the states of Washington and Colorado legalized it. Sort of. Sort of? What do you mean by sort of? How can something be kind of legal? And that's the question. And that's what we're trying to figure out. What? what? The main difference between pot when my parents were growing up and when I was in high school is really just the potency. Marijuana itself was uh, almost a different substance. I, and we, we would get large quantities of marijuana uh, for $10. Because we used to be able to share a couple joints over the course of an evening and didn't really feel that impacted. Nowadays, you don't smoke as much, you just take one hit off of a joint and it gets you to the same level. The potency of THC has just gone off the chart. Tetrahydrocannabinol, so you can see why we say THC, um, is one of the main cannabinoids, the active ingredient that causes disruptions in the central nervous system. THC is the ingredient in marijuana that gets you high. When you look at potency in the 70s and 80s, 2, 3, 4 percent THC contents. Nowadays, consistently 10, 20 percent THC contents. It's almost hallucinogenic what's being smoked now. They use hydroponic setups and they do it very, very scientifically and they cultivate a much more potent strand. So what have you heard about marijuana? Is it safe? Yes! It makes you feel so good. Party! It's not as bad as alcohol, right? I mean, you don't really lose control. You just get silly and eat pizza. No, yeah. it makes you stupid. It impairs your judgment. It impairs it's so your judgment. It's so natural. It tastes okay, so okay, good. Okay, and okay, you have this really Wait! Good. Stop! Is it safe or what? This is what we know. It can cause euphoria. Oh, yeah. It can also cause anxiety and panic. No kidding. Have a calming effect stimulate appetite, and relieve pain. People smoke to get high because it feels good, but for some people, it really doesn't feel good. And it's not that rare anymore. Um, sometimes people have a lot of trouble with anxiety, panic attacks. Short-term effects of smoking marijuana um, are varied. Obviously, they're dependent on the individual, the um, THC contents. Kids that have not started using on a regular basis, and they think, oh, what's really the risk? What, what am I gonna, what's gonna happen if I do it? You know, your life will change. And these are some of the things that could happen. 
One, you can start having trouble with your lungs. You're breathing in smoke you shouldn't be breathing in. You're gonna probably have short-term memory loss as soon as you start using it on, on at least a semi-regular basis, once or twice a week on a regular basis. You're gonna have trouble with judgment, loss of coordination. One thing people think is that it will decrease their sperm count. They don't need birth control. Not true. <laughs> you still need birth control. Whoa. Guys still need condoms. And marijuana is addictive. There really is no controversy in the medical world about marijuana and addiction. There's some controversy regarding, even in some circles still, that cannabis is not addictive. Cannabis dependence is the number one diagnosis for adolescents, for youth, in chemical dependency treatment, residential treatment. That myth still hangs on, oddly enough, in spite of all the research that we have. But really, I think the biggest danger that kids have and the risk is, is with their brain. A teenage brain isn't done developing, and the front part of the brain is the last part that develops. That has judgment, impulse control, emotions, um, and when you smoke marijuana, that area arrests, meaning that it stops developing. Age 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, heavy smoking during those years can in fact alter development of the brain. So if you're 13 and you start smoking, and you keep smoking and you're 16, your brain's really 13. Your brain is just like a 13-year-old. It does not um, progress. So that a teenager, in fact, may have less cognitive ability, the ability to think, organize thoughts, memory, when they're an adult. If you waited till after your brain was almost done um, developing, you know, in the 20s, to start uh, marijuana, you didn't see the IQ drop. So if you just wait till you're 21, your brain's going to be a lot more formed. It's not just a legal issue. If you're 13 and you start using, you're going to be over 50% likely to become addicted. You're 21, it's going to be much, much less. So one of the other things that seems kind of scary is the interrelationship between marijuana and tobacco. They've heard cigarettes are bad. I'm not trying those. I, and you even see their attitude, oh no, I'd never smoke a cigarette, but I smoke marijuana. Mixing the tobacco with the marijuana because it helps to make it last longer or they use the outside uh, of cigars and they roll these blunts. And then the next thing you know, they say, oh, I only smoke once or twice, you know, a cigarette. Next thing you know, they're smoking six. And then the next thing you know, they're up to pack. And Before they know it, it just sneaks up on them and they're also addicted to the nicotine and tobacco. One of the aspects of the community associated with marijuana is the drinks, the foods, the infused products that are now available. When you smoke marijuana, the effects are fairly instant. You can gauge your dosage very well because you know where you're at after every time you smoke. When you consume it rather than smoke it, the onset is much slower, so you really don't have a gauge to know how high you're getting. You can eat a little bit and then it will take an hour and you still don't feel anything, so you eat some more and then all of a sudden you're passed out at 7 o'clock at night because you are way too high. There is no regulation, there is no oversight. Um, the state, Washington State departments that would typically look at food production and food safety and packaging and all those kinds of things do, are not involved with this because it's still considered illegal at the federal level. So tell me this, guys. Is marijuana legal now? <laughs> yeah, we can finally light up at concerts. No, you can't smoke in public. It's oh. okay if you have just a little. No, yeah. you have to be 21. No, you can definitely have a little bit I know that's you not do right. anything. Just no. light up no. care if you do. So is it illegal or what? This is what we know. It's legal locally but still illegal federally. Huh? I know there's some confusion because the federal government it still has it um, as an illegal substance. And the reality is if the federal government wants to arrest you and prosecute you and put you in jail for marijuana, they still can. We just have protection under Washington state law now. What? Does that make sense to you? Not really. <laughs> I don't get it. Initiative 502 is a new Washington state law that makes it legal for adults 21 and over to possess marijuana for their personal use. And it also creates a system for licensing the people that will grow and sell marijuana to adults. It says you have to be 21 years of age, you can only possess up to one ounce of marijuana, you can't share it, and you can't use it in public. However, if you're under the age of 21, there is zero tolerance for driving with any amount of THC in your system. 
If you're an adult, 21 and over, it's okay to possess it. If you're under 21, it's still a crime. You can't smoke marijuana any place that you can't smoke tobacco. Same Clean Air Act applies. You also can't consume marijuana in public the same way you can't consume alcohol in public. So if you're in your vehicle and the public can view you and you're smoking marijuana or using marijuana, that's illegal. Delivery includes both selling marijuana to somebody else or even passing a joint or a pipe to another friend. That's a felony, no matter how much marijuana is at stake. The consequences of doing that um, is that you would end up with a felony on your record. That's a serious crime, and it's also a crime that would potentially impact your future employment. There are folks walking around, our peers right now, who were arrested in their teens, and that misdemeanor has followed them for the rest of their lives. And your ability to get a scholarship. A marijuana possession conviction can mean that you lose your federal financial aid and you can't get it back for a year. Ironically, you may not be able to get involved in the legal marijuana industry in Washington State because you had a possession charge as a young person. And another thing is, adults who are over 21 who buy marijuana and provide it to underage people are still committing a felony. It's a, an offense that's even more serious than buying alcohol for people who are underage. Wait a minute. I thought it was already legal. Yeah, what about all those dispensaries? Dude, all you need is a recommendation from your doctor and then it's bongs away. It's medicine, right? No. no. That's debatable. Most doctors won't even recommend it. But it's for cancer. What, what is medical, medical marijuana? marijuana? Saying the word medical marijuana is almost a political term. You know, in reality, it's the same as any other marijuana you get. The cannabis was meant to be used in the wasting stages of different diseases, um, cancer, HIV, AIDS. But what we can tell about most green card holders is that they're white males in their 20s. I have tons of kids in treatment who are actively trying to get green cards so that they can just use, you know, from a legal standpoint. Because you can have a medical license when you're 18. They pay a couple hundred dollars to a doctor, the doctor writes an authorization, now they've got a card and they can buy marijuana in a dispensary. Kids are going to be 18 going out to go get their medical license so they can smoke three years earlier. When the law here was passed for medical marijuana, I think a lot of people don't realize that it was not meant to be a first line choice when you have any of these ailments like ADHD, chronic pain. Um, nausea. It's being touted as, as a medication for a host of, of healthcare conditions that it doesn't necessarily affect as well as other medications. Not good for glaucoma, not good for tuberculosis, not good for systemic diseases like diabetes. There are a lot of other drugs that are more powerful that work for any of the ailments you can think of that people want to use for marijuana. And we don't have enough research to know if the benefit you get from using it medically outweighs the long-term risks you might have with marijuana. Okay, so let me get this straight. As a teen, I can't smoke weed unless I have a serious illness, yeah. even yeah. though medical marijuana is not exactly legal. Yeah. 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 Then, at 21, I can have an ounce of marijuana, but I can't smoke it in public and I can't mm -hmm. share it with anyone. Yep. Right. 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 And I could still get arrested anyway because having marijuana is illegal by federal law. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's you got about it. it. Oh. Yeah. What? Yes. All right, all right, I know this can be a little confusing, but what do we know for sure now that 502 has passed? We know you have to be 21 to use it. We know there's a zero tolerance policy for driving under the influence. We know you still can't smoke in public. We know the strength of marijuana is hard to determine. We know that it can affect motivation and grades. We know that use can affect IQ and brain development. And according to the U.S. Attorney General, It's, it's still illegal. illegal. Right? And this might be the biggest surprise of them all. 80% of teens your age don't even smoke marijuana. Whoa. Most kids don't use. And I'll tell you, most kids that are real athletes that are getting scholarships, kids that are um, getting, you know, going to places like Harvard, are not using either. There are some people who will argue that it's harmless, and they're wrong. If you smoke too much, you will find yourself being a different person. Marijuana really uh, destroys the will which is the part of us that is able to take an idea into action. The kids don't um, blame the marijuana for that. They'll say, oh, I just, I just don't want to do that anymore. Me and my parents don't get along. Me and my girlfriend aren't getting along because 
you know, she's just not a good girlfriend. You know, they, they don't really see that maybe that drug is getting in the way where if you, you really drink a lot of alcohol, you're um, smoking or shooting heroin, you can see some bad effects and you see right away, it's visual to you where, where the risk is. Where marijuana, it just kind of slowly eats away at somebody's life. Well, it looks like our time is up. Is see you guys on Monday. Hey, see ya. I'll see you later. Yeah. As of 2013, those are the facts, and this is what we know. Hemp for tackle and gear. Hemp for countless naval uses, both on ship and shore. The dried leaves and berries are ground up and made into cigarettes by a simple hand machine. In Kentucky, hemp is shucked as soon as safe after cutting to be spread out for retting later in the fall.